Hey, where am I looking? Am I looking here? Am I looking there? Greetings, Blue Ox fans. Welcome. What? <laughs> now we're live? Okay, well, now we're live. Now we're live. Now we're ready. Greetings, everybody. Welcome to a truly unique Blue Ox that we never thought we'd see. Obviously, we wish you were all here with us. We actually kind of wish the weather was terrible, but it's not. It's actually perfect. But we don't need to talk about that. Um, yeah. We're uh, certainly longing for the pure joy of a shared musical experience, and um, this is the best we could conceive of. Um, we have a lot planned this weekend, despite the fact that nobody is here with us. We have great sets lined up from um, past friends like the Traveling McCurries and Sam Bush. Uh, our good new friend Lily May will be doing a set today, the Sunny Ward. David Huckfelt will be here on the stage later. Um, Pit Wagon, a, a great Eau Claire band, uh, signed on to do a set here from the stage as well. Molly Tuttle, our friends Kind Country from Minneapolis and St. Paul, Travel McCree's, and later um, we as Pert Near Sandstone will play a bunch of tunes off our new album, which uh, this is all designed to uh, help celebrate as well. We decided not to delay it due to COVID, but to put it out anyway and uh, get it out in the world so we could all, um, sh so we could share it with you. and, and um, and, and put it out there and, and hopefully we can all, you know, heal together through music and, and camaraderie. Um, but I wanted to make a special shout out to the Bishop family and all the Blue Ox staff for helping us put this together. Um, it was also not an easy task, uh, much like throwing Blue Ox uh, when everybody's here. Uh, it took a lot of planning and uh, a, lot of, a lot, lot to put together. So. Um, but certainly, uh, I want to acknowledge also um, the fact that uh, even during this social upheaval and COVID, Pertnier's message remains the same, uh, and that is one of love and togetherness. Um, and I want to reiterate that because we we love you all for all of your support through the years. And um, as much as we wish you're here, we we hope that we can share this with you out. And the internets, I know there's people going to be having backyard parties um, today and tomorrow, and uh, we think that's so great, you know, because that's one way we can get together. If we're not all here together, we can be together out there. Um, I think that's all I got. I mean, other than uh, we'll see you throughout the weekend. Um, please enjoy the lineup and, and the, and the pre-recorded and live sets. And, uh, maybe we'll just take one breath together. Ready? <sighs> Welcome to Blue Ox. Hey guys, Ben Wright here from the Hen House Prowlers. We're really honored to be part of Blue Ox's virtual festival this weekend. Uh, it's one of the best festivals in the world, and we're really excited that they're that they asked us to share some of our Bluegrass Ambassadors work. I want to give everybody a little context and, and uh, explain what Bluegrass Ambassadors is. About five years ago, the Hen House Prowlers got an opportunity to travel to West Africa as part of American Music Abroad, which is a program that's been going on for a long time uh, that fosters musical diplomacy uh, and musical diplomacy is uh, has a kind of a rich history in the state department uh, and i, I kind of want to explain that uh, in the 1950s the cold war was going on and uh, russia was exporting a lot of their uh, talent abroad to kind of have this culture war so we started to send some of the best jazz musicians in the world uh, to the farthest corners of the planet to kind of help people connect with each other regardless of language or race or culture. And uh, these programs were amazingly effective. And essentially what we do when we go to these places is we, we visit schools, we visit orphanages, uh, and kind of do school programming in these countries uh, to give kids who might not have music education uh, not only some some of that education but also let them meet real Americans not just the politicians and the diplomats uh, and they're just really powerful experiences and that's what inspired us to start Bluegrass Ambassadors we started realizing that we could bring home the stuff we were learning abroad and share it at festivals like Blue Ox 
and in school programming and online and all sorts of different ways. Like these experiences we've had don't have to just change us. They can change everybody because when you get different people from different cultures together and they share music together, you realize really quickly how much we actually have in common with people, not how different we are from them. Just so you know, PBS put out a documentary last year called The Jazz Ambassadors. And as of the airing of this video, it's free on Amazon Prime right now. And I, I cannot recommend enough. And it chronicles the history of this kind of programming and the early days of it with, uh, with amazing artists like Louis Armstrong, Dave Brubeck, and even Doc and Merle Watson did a bunch of this work. Uh, there are pictures... Uh, that just surfaced not too long ago of Doc and Merle in Africa uh, doing the same kind of work that we've been able to do. And when I saw those pictures, <clears throat> I got really emotional uh, because it was really cool for me to think one of my heroes had shared in these experiences. I will say that every time we come back from these trips, uh, we walk away really proud of what the Foreign Service does, what the State Department does abroad. There are embassies and consulates in almost every country in the world, staffed with Americans who are there to foster connections between cultures. And we don't hear much about them here in the States, uh, but those people dedicate their lives to that work. And, uh, and you know, it's definitely on a re repeatedly made me proud to be an American, uh, which is a tall order sometimes. <laughs> definitely check out the, the movie, ja The Jazz Ambassadors, and also, make sure you check out our nonprofit, Bluegrass Ambassadors. In the meantime, we're going to share with you a little bit about our trip to Africa and the music that we learned and our version of it and their version of it. And then tomorrow, we're going to teach you actually how to play the song on bluegrass instruments, which at first is a little daunting, but it's actually it's totally doable by pretty much anybody who puts their mind to it. So we can't wait to share it with you. Stop by bluegrassambassadors.org and check out what we're doing. Thanks once more to Blue Ox Festival for putting this together. This is such a great idea, and uh, we can't wait to see you guys as soon as possible. Oh, hey. Uh, in July of 2016, the Hen House Prowlers visited Kenya for a five-day, four-city tour. Uh, we flew in to Mombasa, which is a city on the southeast coast of Kenya. Mombasa is one of, it is Kenya's oldest city. It's over 1,100 years old. It's, uh, it's this historic seaport on the Indian Ocean, uh, and it's been taken over and controlled by many different countries throughout its history. One thing that's really noticeable in Mombasa is there's a ton of diversity in the architecture, in the cuisine, and in the culture of the city. Um, so here in Mombasa, we performed at the historic Little Theatre Club. The building that is home to this club was used by the British Navy in World War II, uh, and it's been home to the theater since 1952. In 1960, Louis Armstrong performed here during one of the first, uh, one of the first Jazz Ambassadors tours. Uh, as you know from Ben, uh, he told you that the Jazz Ambassadors tours have evolved into the American Music Abroad tours, which we have been lucky to be a part of. Uh, so after a workshop inside the theater with some local musicians, we moved outside onto the steps for a concert because uh, it was a beautiful night. Let's do this outside. Also on this tour, we traveled to uh, Nyeri, which is in the center of Kenya. We traveled to Kasumu, which is on the southeastern, excuse me, southwestern part of the country for concerts and workshops with local bands and local musicians. Uh, but three of the really big highlights of the tour all took place uh, in and around the capital city of Nairobi. One was an outdoor concert at a community library uh, with a fantastic band called Sarabi. Uh, 
This concert was sponsored by the U.S. Embassy. I was attended by uh, the U.S. Ambassador to Kenya. Uh, and that's always a big thrill for us and for the locals in attendance because uh, despite some modern uh, misinformation, ambassadors are really good people. One of the most unforgettable days for me as a musician and as a human was our trip to Dandora. Good, how are you? <laughs> uh, Dandora is technically a suburb of Nairobi. Uh, it's used as Nairobi's main dumping site. Uh, the poverty and the living conditions here are unlike anything that, that we can really imagine. So we walked through the ghetto with our instruments, uh, minus the bass, as it was just too big and bulky to safely carry uh, as, as far away as we were going and through the terrain we were traveling. We uh, arrived at a house that sat out in a field about a hundred yards from a mountain of trash. Uh, it's a house that was occupied by a group of local artists who take residence there and who use this house to create a refuge of art and creativity amidst the chaos and uncertainty of life in Dandora. They call the place Hip Hop City. Uh, we got to create live uh, and spontaneous music with these young artists. Um, and since we had to leave my bass behind, I couldn't uh, musically take part, but I did take this video. <laughs> On our final day of the tour, uh, Saudi Soul, who had seen us perform their song Surayako on national TV, they paid us a visit at our hotel. Well, it was a great hang, it was a great chance to share uh, stories of uh, vastly different experiences as, a ba as bands, one from uh, one a bluegrass band from the United States, one a pop band from uh, East Africa. Uh, so we found a lot of differences and surprisingly, or maybe not so surprisingly, a lot of, uh, a lot of things in common. Um, and after lunch and after sharing stories, the instruments came out and we spent uh, several hours jamming in the back corner of our hotel's restaurant. Um, so there you have it, and House Prowlers. Kenya tour summer of 2016. Thanks for that lovely recap, John. Now I'm going to tell you all a little bit more about our friend Sauti Soul. The band Sauti Soul is an incredibly famous Afro pop group from Kenya and Africa. If you get to hear this song, somebody loves you. Susanna Van Nusen, yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Change your mind and come back home. Somebody loves you. Yeah. They started in 2005 as an a cappella group, which aligned really well with Bluegrass's high and lonesome harmonies. This made it easier identifying with their music once we learned we would be playing it. Originally, they were just called Sauti, the Swahili word for sound. Eventually, they added soul, the Spanish word for sun. Combining the two, Sauti soul became voices of the sun. These guys are massively popular across the continent. It's important to mention their music is in Swahili, but is massively popular across the continent and around the world. They continue to grow and evolve as a fantastic pop group and gaining popularity every day. Now let's hear them singing their song Suriyako. Check out this awesome official music video. <laughs> Sing 
attention you might have seen or heard some really interesting things. Maybe you saw a goat on screen. No, not Michael Jordan. As Chris mentioned, Syriaco is in Swahili, so we have to do some translating to understand the meaning. If we translated Syriaco to English, it literally means your face. So in the chorus when we sing Syriaco Missouri Mama, we're talking about this lady's beautiful face. It's worth noting that Mama in Swahili doesn't directly translate to mother, but instead means lady or girl. Here's the translated part of the chorus in English. <laughs> Kenyan wedding. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at the part of this video where the man is picking out a lady out of a group of ladies who have their faces covered up. So this is a ritual that started with two tribes in Kenya and has expanded to be pretty popular in modern day Kenya. Think of it more as a game to play instead of a ritual nowadays. As you can see from the crowd reaction, he might have picked the wrong one. From Kenya to here in the US, I think it's a very relatable through line to protect the woman you love. Goes to show that we aren't all that different. Some values are universal to the human experience. Thanks for that, Jake. He's a pretty cool guy, huh? Now we'd like you to check out our version that we recorded of this song uh, when we were at Pace Studios in Atlanta earlier this year. Thanks everyone for joining in and thanks for Blue Ox for putting this on. Be sure to tune in tomorrow and we'll teach you how to play this song. We'll see you then.
Oh, well, hey there. How's everybody doing out there? Super excited to be hanging out with Blue Axe this weekend. Bummed we can't be all together in person, but this is awesome. The music is fantastic. Thanks to everybody working real hard to make that happen. Um, let's do our at-home festi checklist. We've got a beer, a Bell's beer. Cheers to that. And bubbles. We all know what an important part of bubbles, of blue axe bubbles are. Yes. Water, stay hydrated. You might be at home, but it doesn't hurt. And most importantly, we have bluegrass. Uh, my name is Amy. I live in Parchment, Michigan. Cheers to everybody out there. Thanks for supporting Blue Ox and thanks for supporting Bells. See you soon. Really excited about this artist. She has played with Particle Kid, that's Micah Nelson's band. Micah, yes, Willie's son. She just did a Tiny Desk concert not too long ago for National Public Radio. Certainly a rising star of the Americana and folk scene from Los Angeles, a big hand for Sonny War. Hi, I'm Sonny Ward, and this is Aaron Davis, and we're going to play some songs. I'm human. I'm human. 
became king.
Be sure to pay your borrow And all the girls who leave you been to Still looking for a babysitter You stood a place where others ran You're just a boy, a boy at the age of men
broken.
It's called Got No Right.
Okay, this is our last song. Thanks for having us. It's called Soul Trip. Oh 
Take 67, Chad here, coming for me from Madison, Wisconsin, your local Bells rep. I uh, just wanted to uh, say, although things are a little bit different this year, we are beyond jazz to be back at Blue Ox for 2020 virtual. Uh, enjoy the great acts over a great Bells beer and shake your grasses off. Cheers. When I'm not enjoying my favorite Blue Ox bands, you can find me sipping on a tall, cool can of Bell's beer. Hey, cheers from Ferndale, Michigan.
didn't just happen, man. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Um, our thanks to Sunny War for that great set. And also want to thank the Hen House Prowlers for introducing that song. And they're going to be doing another workshop tomorrow, too, to teach how to play it. Um, you make sure and check them out, the Bluegrass Ambassadors and the Hen House Prowlers. They are um, doing some really cool work spreading the bluegrass love around the, the globe and uh, really doing some good, um, some good work. Um, but right now, we got our first live set um, right here on site. Our good friend David Huckfeld is here. He was here last year for the first time, and we had to have him back this year. Um, you may know him from his work with the Pines, uh, a beloved MSP band. Um, and you might know him from his solo albums, too. He's got another one coming out soon called Room Enough, Time Enough. Make sure you go online and look up um, how, you can, how you can get it. It sounds like in the next couple of months it'll be available for uh, distribution. Uh, I think you can pre-order it now. Um, also, while you're at his website, make sure you check out his lyrics page. Um, I love the way he writes, and I love the words he writes. Um, but, you know, you're not here to he hear me talk. You're here to hear David play. So give it up wherever you are, in your house, in your backyard, in your car. Um, I can't hear you clap, but clap anyway, because we're, as musicians, trying to figure out how this, <laughs> how this works. And uh, like he said just before, he's like, I'm going to try and remember how to be a musician now. But... David Huckfeld, everybody. Thank you, David. Feeling bad, 
honey, it'll be blow. Going down the road and I'm feeling bad. Going down the road and I'm feeling oh so bad. I don't wanna be treated this old way. I don't wanna be treated this old way. Okay, now, yeah. It's okay. I've, you know, how many times I've finished a song to complete silence in my life? A lot. So, um, <clears throat> I want to just tell people at home, I'm really glad to be here today. And, um, I hope that everyone, I hope you guys are all okay. I hope you're okay. Um, <clears throat> it's been intense. Uh, unless unless you are a person who was completely okay with how things were going, then I hope that maybe you're taking this time to uh, reconsider some things in America. Um, I don't want to talk very much. We're here to play music. Um, the last couple weeks in Minneapolis, we've been, uh, all of us have been doing what we can to lift up um, black voices, indigenous voices, uh, because I mean, especially musically, those voices have lifted us up for so long. Um, and so today, I'm, I'm gonna play those kind of songs today for you. I don't think I'm gonna do any of my own songs. I'm gonna point, uh, point a, a finger and point towards uh, some of these voices. That was an Elizabeth Cotton song uh, about quality. And this is a Mississippi John Hurt song. Called the Spike Driver Blue. Take this hammer, carry it to the captain. Tell him I'm gone, tell him I'm gone, tell him I'm gone. Take this hammer and carry it to the captain. Tell him I'm gone, tell him I'm gone, I sure is
Hey, thank you very much. <clears throat> it's also not the first time I've ever played uh, for trees before. Um, it's really beautiful here. I don't know, could describe it to you. I'm looking at a big open, uh, a big open field, uh, a little pond. Um, there's several thousand less people here than there was last year, but there's also uh, one less mighty thunderstorm that uh, uh, really kind of scared us for a while last year. Uh, it's amazing who you find yourself underneath a tent with drinking White Claw during a thunderstorm. You never, you never would have guessed um, that that would have happened. <laughs> Here's a Lightning Hopkins song. Thank you, all nine of you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, I do. All those things that um, that he said are true. I have a new um, I have a new son at home. I think he's probably watching, and he's probably bored to tears. Um, you know, things are, are interesting to him that I wouldn't expect. But we listen to a ton of music around the house. Um, by the time he gets to meet any of our friends, he'll have uh, heard their voices many times, 
it's almost like a little experiment having a baby during a quarantine because it feels like it feels like we're like raising the next Dalai Lama or something. Like we are uh, keeping him in hiding. Nobody gets to see him. We make sure he avoids the government. Um, we're just at home, and it's it's such a tremendous blessing. So um, I actually want to send a song out to all parents out there. I'm new to the job, it's my first one, uh, so my first Father's Day ever is coming up. <clears throat> um, I never believed you guys when you said how hard it was, and I, I should have, but it's especially harder um, when you have to be afraid of all kinds of things like getting sick and uh, going to the doctor, going to the gas station, going to the grocery store, So I send a song out to uh, all the parents uh, with their kids, um, trying to keep them safe and trying to teach them about what's happening in America. Um, and uh, the song was written by Ted Hawkins, a great singer-songwriter from uh, Venice Beach, California. Morning, my darling, I'm telling you this To let you know that I'm sorry you're sick Tears of sorrow won't do you no good I'll be your doctor if only I could What do you want from the liquor store? Something sour or something sweet I'll buy you all that your belly can hold You can be sure you won't suffer no more The doctor would hurry and show There's quite a few places I know we could go I was okay but this news from you Saying you're sick made me sick too What do you want from the liquor store? Something sour or something sweet I buy you all that your belly can hold You can be sure you won't suffer no more I'd swim the ocean or the deepest canal To get to you baby just to make you well Tears and turf that I hasten to go To cure the fever, oh, I want you to know What do you want from the liquor store? Something sour, something sweet I buy you all that your belly can hold You can be sure you won't suffer no more Promise me, darling, that you won't die I'll get all the medicine and money can buy Stick with me, baby, and on the fight Know we can make it all through the night What do you want from the liquor store? Something sour, something sweet I buy you all that your belly can hold You can be sure you won't suffer no more What do you want from the liquor store? Something sour, something sweet I buy you all that your belly can hold And you can be sure you won't suffer no more all right, Thank you all very much. Just want to be clear, uh, not recommending that you get your kids drunk. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, um, you have to really clarify the things you say online these days because we're all very much ready to pounce. Um, all I'm saying is that sometimes you're broke, you can't even afford medicine. And uh, most parents I know, you know, they could use a little drink. Uh, just, just now and then in the evening, get through, get through the news cycle. I'm sure, uh, yeah, people all day are going to be, you know, thanking um, all the folks that decided to put this on, even though we couldn't have a crowd here. Uh, the Current, Bell's Brewery, Jamgrass TV, Nux.net, um, 
Everybody that, that that showed up here just to at least, you know, what are you going to do with your weekend? We could uh, at least try to uh, shoot a little music at you. And I have a feeling there's a bunch of you just going to sit out in your yards tonight. I hope so. And uh, have some drinks about six and a half feet from the people you love and uh, listen to some music. There's a lot of great music coming. There always is at Blue Ox. First time I ever saw Del McCurry is at Blue Ox. Now this song is actually, um, will be on my new record and the record won't be out for a while. I'm, I'm doing, I almost had it done and then uh, everybody that I knew was at home in their home studios with nothing to do. So I, I sent them the tracks and and um, I had them play on the record and send it back, um, which is a fortunate thing. This next song has been played by The Current. Uh, um, I thank them for giving attention to this songwriter, a good friend of mine, dear friend of mine named Keith Sakola, Anishinaabe, uh, Ojibwe from northern Minnesota, uh, one of my favorite people on the planet, and one of my favorite songwriters. Um, he wrote this song called The Book of Life. You can listen to it um, online and, and it will be coming out here as soon as we figure out if, if there's a music industry left. Um, but you can't stop the songs from, from trying to help you. Who do I run to? What do I stand for? Who should I play for? What should I pay for? What makes it all worthwhile? How do I see? How do I hear it? How do I move it? When I get near it, how do I get through it? Everything's amazing, everything's wonderful, but life's full of sadness. Love is the answer. The answer's in the book of life.
Thank you. My uh, festival festival drink. It's really going to be easy to find a camping spot tonight. I, I see that. Um, I don't know. Just something. I, I you know I've had the the privilege of playing some almost like accidentally playing some really big festivals like in Canada where uh, they, they take you if you're a side stage artist and uh, they call them uh, tweeners. They're in between. They just shove you up on the main stage uh, in between headlining acts like, uh, um, you know, like in between like Calexico and Mavis Staples and they'll throw you up there and you'll play for 25,000 people. Um, 25,000 people have no idea who you are or why you're there. And uh, I feel excited to, to know that when the touring industry comes back, I think it's going to come back in the small places first. Uh, those intimate um, little house concerts and theaters and opera houses. And I think when we're allowed to be close to each other, we're going to want to get as close as we can. And it's kind of a song about that. This is a Mavis Staples and Jeff Tweedy song. It's pretty fitting, I think, for how we feel. You're not alone. I'm with you. Lonely too What's that song It can't be sung By two A broken dream A broken heart Isolated and afraid Open up, this is a ray I want to get it through to you You're not alone You're not alone Every night I stand in your place Every tear on every face tastes the same. A broken home, a broken heart, isolated and afraid. Open up, this is a ray. I'm gonna get it through to you. You're not This is a ray. I'm gonna get it through to you. You're not alone. I'm gonna get it through to you. You're not alone. I wanna get it through to you. You're
right. Thank you all so much. <clears throat> I mean, even, yeah, even when you watch, even Stephen Colbert like, looks a little bit awkward when he's got no audience. So um, everybody's just a little off. And uh, I will say, if you haven't seen the, the new uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, he did a show uh, near his hometown, I think. And uh, he spaced everybody out real well and, and, uh, and kind of just lays out the truth um, to a great degree in, in America right now, as he's known to do. So maybe these concerts will be starting to come back a little bit, but I want to be real careful. So no rushing the stage today, okay? I said I'm not going to play any of my own songs, and I guess I lied about that. I'm going to do one um, from the new record. I did a Kickstarter for this record. I'd never done that before. It was kind of, uh, you know, kind of anxious thing to do, um, asking for people that, to help during this time when so many people uh, need help. Um, but I was one of those people um, in, my, in my way, not being able to do my job. So to anybody out there who uh, gave to the Kickstarter campaign, I just want to say thank you so much because you're making it possible for this record to get done. And for anybody who didn't, if you are interested, you can pre-order it. Just actually just order records from anybody you know who plays music that you love because I guarantee it'll help them. This song is called The Gambler's Dharma. Street, broken window at my feet. All the broken homeless angels hold the night. Tell me where the hooks are at to unhang all their hats. Is the gambler's dharma hiding in plain sight? Gambler's dharma hiding in plain sight. Early in the morning when your medicine is strong And the four directions nail you to the dawn Walk out of doors alone, your secret written on a stone It's a short time here but a very long time gone Short time here but a very long time gone Swallows as they sing, they shake out homeward wings. All my relations come and kiss the dirt. The one thing you must do, the heart knows that it's true. Learning all where to love and who. Learning all where to love and who.
Concerning what may come, concerning what may go Even when our shadows don't fit us right For now and for our time, I'll trade you yours for mine Now play my gambler's doll, my hand with you Play my gambler's doll, my hand with you Play my gambler's doll, my hand with you oh, oh. Play my gambler's doll, my hand with you Thank you very much. Is, uh, what, what time is it? Is the internet closed yet? Is it... Um, 3.37, okay. I should mention too, I know that... Um, I know they're accepting donations, and I, I swear, maybe, maybe if we can make it through this time and we can make all these big, massive structural changes to uh, our society and, uh, and ha like, uh, if we can just survive, maybe we can go like one year without using the word donate. Um, I mean, I, that's not possible, because there's always going to be so much need, but I feel like uh, if you're a musician who's been asking, you know, for donations and contributions, it's... Uh, is so much need. We, we've done benefit concerts for Second Harvest Heartland, um, Food Shelf. We've done benefit concerts for uh, local and independent bookstores. Um, you know, you can vote with your money so much. And, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody else feels this out there, but I, right lately, whenever you're trying to get the news online, you know, and there's an advertisement for Tide or uh, like Kindle or something. It's like advertisements have never felt more irrelevant than they do right now. Commercials, you know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, the difference between supporting your local organic farmer and uh, ordering your groceries from Amazon or something. It's a big difference. So... That's my confusing way of saying if you have the means and you want to support a festival that uh, has been going now for years, Pertnir Sandstone, uh, Blue Ox Festival, um, you know, do contribute because there are people who can put that into the right places and to basically just make sure these things survive. Um, I think I got time for one more song and there's a lot more music coming up this afternoon, so... If anybody's watching, I hope that you're done working for the day. Take the rest of the day off. I tell them I said so. Um, take as much slow time as you can to yourself with your family. And uh, keep paying attention and keep watching what's happening and, and keep participating uh, on the streets, the protests, um, you know, standing up and making some room for other voices uh, to rise and to, to speak with authority to what's going on. Um, it's a pleasure to play music for you, so I'm gonna do one more. song is written by Willie Dixon, uh, the great blues uh, songwriter who helped write Johnny Be Good and all some of the best blues songs all time. Don't tell these Blue Ox guys that I'm not a bluegrass guy because I don't want them to figure it out and then not invite me back. So I'm going to do this song about peace, the most bluegrass stuff I can. Um, again, thanks so much.
But you have made great plains this span the sky. You give one man's side with another man's eyes. You even make submarines and they stay down for weeks. But it don't make sense. You can't make peace. Now it don't make sense You can't be peace You take a one man's heart To make another man live Then you go to the moon and you come back through. Well, you can crush any country in a matter of weeks, but it don't make sense. You can't make. No, it don't make sense Can't be peace Take a one man's heart, give another man's sight. You can turn the darkness into broad daylight. Make the deaf man hear, make the dumb man speak. But it don't make sense Can't be peace No, it don't make sense You can't be David Huckfeld, I'm looking here. That's David Huckfeld. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thoughtful words, and great tunes. We could, we could love the selection. I um, just want to um, remind y'all just a couple things. Lily May, she's coming up next. This is a shout out to my little five year old at home. He, uh, his favorite artist is Lily. She sent us a recorded um, set from Nashville. Make sure you check that out coming up. Also, we want to ask people to post pictures of how they're viewing this weekend, whether it be in your backyard, in your basement, in your living room, wherever. So uh, make sure you post that up to uh, Facebook and wherever else we, you can do it. Um, yeah, we got a lot more coming today. We got Lily May up next, um, the Molly Tuttle interview and her set later. Our uh, new friends from the Chippewa Valley are right over there waiting to get up here on stage and, and set up for you, pit wagon. So thank you all for tuning in. Thanks again to David for playing the set, and we'll see you soon.
to be back at the Pines, taking in all that Blue Ox has to offer. Tasty Bell's beer, some great bluegrass, a summer breeze, maybe even a relaxing hammock ride. Well, we can't be at the Pines, but luckily we can still enjoy the rest. Like some refreshing Bell's official, or whichever delicious Bell's beer is your favorite. Cheers.
Hey, I'm Bill DeVille, host of United States of Americana on The Current. Catch it Sunday mornings, 7 to 9, thecurrent.org, 89.3 on your FM dial in the Twin Cities. And it's live from the Pines, the Blue Ox Virtual Music Festival. And this artist has been playing music since she joined her family's band at the ripe old age of three. You got it, three years of age. You may have seen her in another day, another time, celebrating the music of Inside Lewin Davis. She's done so many cool things. She's toured with Jack White and the Rack on Tours, and she records on Jack's Third Man label. In fact, the last time you saw her, the show was fantastic. She opened up for the uh, Cactus Blossoms down at uh, First Avenue. How about it for Lily May? Give her a big hand. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Glad to be here. Glad to be uh, joining you all at the Blue Ox Virtual Livestream Festival. Thank you all so much for listening today. Here's a tune called Golden Year.
Well, well, thank you. Thank y'all. Here's one, it's a few, handful of years old, called Honky Tonks and Taverns, all right. I think Honky Tonks and Taverns are our dear and distant friends. Rice's, it's, it's Tony Rice's birthday week. Birthday week. It's not, yeah, it's not his birthday today, but. Happy birthday, Tony. We love you. Right. More than everyone. Just kidding. thought I'd be I ain't your only maybe the only one who thinks 
that so? I ain't your first choice. Maybe once upon a time, when I was living with delusions in mind. No, you've got other girls for that. You've got other girls for that I'm just here to play And it ain't like you, babe, to know me well Well, I ain't so bad, huh? Maybe even a prize That you could show You've got other girls for that I'm just here to play And it ain't like you, babe, to know me well No, you've got other girls for that I'm just here to play And it ain't like you, babe, to know me YouTube and on her website for that Thanks, last Charlotte. song, Other Girls, You're Welcome. I was actually just listening to the record. I mean, it came out like, what, a year ago? August. August. 2019. Cool. Listening to it. Anyway, I was watching the video also, and I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a really cool video, so you guys should check it out. Thanks. Thanks, Boo. You're welcome. Yeah, Misa shot it. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check it out. <laughs>
sands Much could be revealed Crisp and cold, crisp and cold as a lie And don't be scared, be more Great, something to look forward to. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you said. Do that. Sorry, right. Brian. Here's one called Padre Wind. This is written about South Padre Island in South Texas. Scarlett's idea of a Spent song. Spent a lot of time in South Texas when we were kids and teenagers. Me, teenager. <laughs> Padre Wind. This next tune is called Blue Heart, and it was uh, inspired by the blue heart emoji on the iPhone. And it, you know, sounds a little better than like orange heart or yellow heart, red heart, <laughs> or green heart. <laughs> green heart, that might be all right. Rainbow Maybe that's next. Nice one. Rainbow heart, that would be nice, Scarlett. <laughs> <laughs> Tin Man over here on the mandolin. That's right. <laughs> I know that's not of those shoes. They're like Tin Man shoes. <laughs>
last time. Here's another one Scarlett and I worked on together. It's called The Last Time. Cuckoo bird, all right.
Oh, is there, are, we, are we on schedule for this? Yeah. Okay, cool. Squeeze it out. <laughs> All right, we're going to do one more song. What's that? And uh, thank you so much for listening today. It's been such a pleasure to be here. We're, um, yeah. I'm grateful, so grateful to be able to pick with these awesome cats today, meow. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get to see y'all at Blue Ox in real life, live in person one day. And uh, on the guitar over here is brother Frank Carter. <coughs> Tearing it up. On the mandolin is Sister Scarlet. On the bass is Mr. Brian Zahn. On the drums is Misa Ariaga. And my name is Lily May. Thank y'all so much. Y'all take care. Here's one called Didn't I. Thanks again.
Hey, thanks, right. y'all. Thanks, Blue Ox. Hey, I'm Bill DeVille. It's the Blue Ox Virtual Music Festival, and I am so pleased to welcome Molly Tuttle. Hi, Molly. How are you? Hey, I'm good. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. How's things in uh, in Nashville these days? Um, it's been a pretty wild week here in Nashville. We've been having um, rallies and protests and um, a lot of good change is hopefully happening but yeah it's been everyone's been kind of joining together this last week there's been a lot a lot going on yeah yeah i can relate lots here in minneapolis too of course to kind of been you know yeah. sort of in the ground ground zero as to what's been going on yeah. for good reason for good reason and uh well start off with the year i mean you had that tornado that rolled through did that how did that affect you back when that tornado rolled through back in was that like february or was it march um I want to say that was March, but it's hard to remember now. It's been all the months have been like blurring together. I think it was yeah. March because I remember like right after it happened, um, I flew out to California a couple days later and I was sad because I couldn't stay and help. Um, but the tornado did go like right past my house um, and just barely missed where I was. Um, and yeah, so basically like my neighborhood got a lot of, houses and businesses got destroyed and they were trying to rebuild and then the next week i think um quarantine started so it was yeah. a double whammy for nashville yeah so you as a musician obviously this you know you, you make your money you know playing gigs and the summer times rolling around and you probably had your whole summer booked so what, yeah. what are you personally doing to to stay busy i've been recording a bit um i was i recorded some um covers of songs that I love in the past few weeks and um yeah I've been writing a little bit like I'll start writing a song and maybe send it to a friend who's also in quarantine everyone has a lot of time on their hands right now for projects which has been kind of fun and I've been doing some live streams um other than that I've just been like reading and walking around my neighborhood and um I bought like a little deck of uh tarot cards <laughs> that's been like my new hobby that I had never been into it before but that's been kind of fun <laughs> so, so you haven't had to watch tiger king then yet huh i did binge tiger king like the first <laughs> week it came out <laughs> me too <laughs> yeah. i'm guilty that was, and, that was uh, so long ago. <laughs> yeah and i feel terrible that i watched it I, and i episode I, all of them you know it's like why didn't i bail yeah. out on this but i didn't i watched it all the way through yeah Guess it shows you where, where we're at nowadays i know <laughs> Do you listen to, to more music in, in times like this? Um, it kind of goes in waves. Like, I actually, I feel like I haven't been listening to music as much as I normally do, but the main time I do is when I just kind of take, I usually go on a long walk every day and listen to music. Um, and then sometimes I'll put it on around the house, but I don't know. I've been kind of drawn to listening to instrumental music lately just because I feel so overwhelmed with everything that's going on in the world. And know, it's kind yeah. of like... Yeah calming they just hear no yeah. words for yeah <laughs> you, were, you were talking about uh, having recorded some songs and, and one that's caught my ear of late boy i just love your rendition of uh, crosby stills nash and young's helpless why did you oh, record you. that yeah why did you record oh. that one yeah I, i've been doing that in my live shows for years and um it was always one where at the end of the show we'd um sometimes go in front of the mics and play acoustic and then um, lately, I've been playing with a more electric band, so we haven't been doing that, but we'd always get the audience to join in. Um, so when I was recording my album, When You're Ready, two years ago, we had some extra time in the studio and decided to just record that one with the band, um, kind of just for fun and to have something extra from that time recording my album. But we never released it, and it's been two years now since we recorded the album, so um when quarantine started and when the tornado hit and everything um, my friends in old crow medicine show asked me to sing on their song nashville rising um and so i went 
into the studio with Ryan Hewitt, who did my album, and we put my vocals down on that song, and that was before, like, everyone was totally in lockdown. Um, so it was kind of the last, like, recording thing I did with yeah. other people in the room. Um, but he was like, why don't we get them to record parts on Helpless, because we never released it, and it just felt like it was never the right time to release it, and maybe the track wasn't totally finished, and so we sent it to them, and they have a remote recording studio where they all... Um, individually put down parts and it just added so much to it and it really like brought me back to singing the song with the audiences at shows um and so yeah we decided to put it out and donate the proceeds to why hunger which is helping people um have access to food when so yeah. many more people are um like needing that right now so what what is catch decor like that guy is so energetic i get such a kick out of him is he is that how he is in yeah. person too <laughs> um yeah he's like he's so awesome he's one of my favorite people um we went on a little duo tour in december and i didn't really know him that well before that um but he was just so much fun to hang out with he always had like fun ideas on the road like we would see an interesting sign or something and just pull over and do a little video in front of it and i don't know he just loves to entertain people and have a good time and yeah he's a great person if you looked up the word ham, I think it would say catch sequel. <laughs> totally. It was interesting playing on stage with him because I'm kind of like, I'm not really as exuberant on stage. I kind of am more mellow. Um, so it was fun trying to like figure out our dynamic together on stage. Yeah. I've been getting so bored. You know, I watch all these Facebook live performances and I caught his uh, Heartland Hootenanny show last last yeah. Saturday. Oh, I nice. Got his, it just seems like it's all off of the top of his head. So was, I thought that was uh, really Yeah, those are so fun. I was on one of those a few weeks ago, and yeah, it was a blast. I've been tuning into some of them on Saturdays. Yeah. They're always really fun. Yeah. I saw you also wrote songs with this gentleman that I also get a kick out of, Steve Poltz. Yeah. What's it like, what's it like, what's it like writing songs? Speaking of high energy, this guy's like the Energizer mm -hmm. Bunny. I mean, he's like so full of energy totally. and so funny. <laughs> <laughs> so what's yeah, it like writing a song with him yeah it's really fun and he's like always like that i feel like even more than um catch is but he's just always coming up with so many ideas like i'd go over to his house and we'd write like three songs just because he'd be like i have this idea i have this idea i have this idea and then it was so easy always to write with him because anything i would say like i'd come up with a lyric idea and he'd be like that's amazing and so it just like went really fast and you just feel so um like comfortable and and I don't know he's just a supportive person so I never felt um scared to put an idea out there for a song around him and that yeah. makes the whole process be so much fun and like go so much faster and I think be more productive probably yeah so do you think uh you know in times like this do you think music becomes more important during you know kind of troubling difficult times yeah I think so and I think it's important especially now to listen to so many different voices. Um, I've seen people trying to share um, music from black musicians. And I think like this week I've kind of taken a pause um, from like posting my own music and just trying to amplify other people's voices. And I've seen other people doing the same, but I think music is, yeah, just as important or even more important right now. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Have you been to Wisconsin before? I have, yeah. You have? Yeah, because we were so, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad, yeah. Everyone's so but, nice there. Like, when I played in Madison, we were just like, how is every single person so nice? And, like, so always trying to help. And, yeah, it was, I love Wisconsin. What about uh, the Twin Cities? I'm trying to think if you've been, I know you've been here before. Did you play the Dakota yeah. the last time through? Yeah, mm -hmm. I played the Dakota. I've played the Dakota two times, and I always have so much fun in Minneapolis um we always go to spy house coffee and that's the best coffee and i always buy beans there and then um there there's go. just I don't know, we always like have adventures in minneapolis it's really fun mm -hmm. now you've been doing this for a while your dad was also uh, a bluegrass musician so how exactly did you get started your dad like give you an instrument and you were off and running yeah um well kind of i always really wanted to play um ever since i was like a toddler <laughs> so when yeah. i was four i really wanted play fiddle because um, I always saw my dad playing fiddle at square dances and um, and my parents bought me like a tiny fiddle but I didn't really want to practice or take lessons so I kind of gave up really quickly and then the same I did the same thing with piano a few years after that like begged for a piano um, 
well, or a keyboard. I mean, big for piano lessons, but I did, didn't really actually want to practice. And then finally, when I was eight, I was like, I really want a guitar. And <laughs> to my parents' credit, they were like, okay, we'll get you a guitar. I think they just really were hopeful that I would like stick with some instrument. Um, and then my dad, for the first time, started teaching me and that made it really fun to get to play with him. Um, so yeah, I started playing guitar when I was eight and that's when it kind of sunk in. I really didn't, um, stick with any <laughs> musical uh, endeavor before that. Do you think that you're the kind of person that was kind of born to be on stage? I mean, you've been performing since what, like 13 you were first on stage? Yeah, I think I played my first ever gig when I was 11. Um, I don't 11. remember it that way. Okay. We played at this like pizza parlor in Palo Alto where I grew up. Um, I would play with like some of my dad's students who were the same age as me or and then later on play with my brothers once they started playing music as well. Um, and that was fun. Yeah, there were just like little local places we would play. I don't know if I was like born to be on stage because I'm like, <laughs> I don't have like a naturally, um, I guess I'm not like naturally a ham, <laughs> as you mentioned. <laughs> um, but I love performing and I've noticed now like not being able to do it, it's such a big part of the reason I love playing music. So it's been kind of hard to have that part taken away. Um, but yeah, I, I do love performing. So when do you have uh, official, you know, gigs showing up again? Is it like the fall? Is that what you're hoping for? Are you going to sit out the rest of this year? Do you, what, do you have a plan at all? Or Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really sure what the plan is. We do have like tentative gigs on the schedule for the fall, but um, I think mm -hmm. we're just waiting and seeing what's going to happen. Um, I don't want to like, put anyone in danger and I certainly don't want to like put myself or my family in danger. So just want to stay safe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's scary. It's like how, when is the right time to gather in a big room all yeah, together? Yeah. I suppose, yeah. I suppose it just will start small and then multiply and yeah. eventually we get back to, to a regular life again. That's what I'm hoping, you know, it's like, yeah. yeah. So it's been a pleasure chatting with you. Got one last question. What was it like? I remember so clearly back in 2018, you won Instrumentalist of the Year at the Americana Awards and Honors. How did that feel for you? That must have been quite an honor, huh? Yeah, that was so exciting. Um, that year was just amazing. There were so many wonderful things that happened. And the Americana one was special because I haven't been like in the Americana world for that long. I grew up, grew up like in the bluegrass um, community but to be recognized by the Americana Association was really, it felt like it came out of nowhere, but it had been something that like had, I don't know, I'd, I've always wanted to be in that world and the people who play at Americana Fest, I admire so much. And um, yeah, it was just really, really exciting and really an honor. It's been really nice chatting, Molly Tuttle. Thanks, you take you too. care. Mm -hmm. yeah, Stay healthy. Having... Yeah, my <laughs> pleasure. Mm -hmm. It's the Blue Ox Virtual Music Festival. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. Where'd the camera go? Oh, is that down there? Zach? Yeah, down there. Are we good to go? All right, we're live. Okay, okay, cool. Uh, hey, everybody, we're back. It's 5 p.m. Central. We're chugging light along on our schedule. I want to thank Lily May for her set uh, down there in Nashville. Um, great stuff from her. My five-year-old said, man, she's really got a great band. 
and then, you know, she has her, you know. So <laughs> thanks to her. Um, thanks to everybody who's uh, working here, Jamgrass and the Blue Ox crew and Northern Sun Productions. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the night. That Molly Tuttle interview um, was just aired, and she's going to have her From Home set next. And then we'll have uh, Kind Country. Our friends are warming up in the woods over there right now. Uh, the Traveling Currys will send in their set, uh, and we'll play later. Um, I, I want to add also, um, one of my friends just texted me. Uh, they, they built a whole map of their backyard for the, uh, their live Blue Ox uh, screening, and he sent me a, a picture of the map. Uh, keep that stuff coming in on Facebook and wherever else. We want to see how you're viewing this weekend's events. Um, hopefully you're having fun already. It's officially happy hour in, in, the, in the Central Standard or Daylight Savings Time. Of course, it's probably been happy hour since uh, 11 a.m. Uh, for a lot of you all, too. Um, but this next band comes from right here in Eau Claire, born from the waters of the Chippewa Valley, right here to play some folk rock for you. They're going to get growly and get, get dirty and mean for us. Um, yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear you all clap for Pit Wagon. <laughs> Flies fucking on a rotten peach. I've been trying to kill them since last week. Well, nothing swirl when you get off of me. Like a storm of summer in the middle of the state. Well, I got more sins than a dying man A book of empty pages and a working pen Well, set it on the shelf above the garbage can Real close to the edge and hope it falls right in Still I work at dawn and bring my money home I put it in an envelope and seal it closed I mail it to the tax man and all his friends They get rich and go to work again Well, three more years till I pay my debt It might be enough time to let a little more collect Well, for both of you dollars that I should have saved Be trading beers for bills till I hit that grave Still I work at dawn and bring my money home I put it in an envelope and seal it closed I mail it to the tax man and all his friends They get rich, I go to work again Well, and time stands still and I read my book I understand I deserve all those dirty looks Well, I think of all the whiskey and the time it took To 
to walk one foot for another foot Still I work at dawn and bring my money home I put it in an envelope and seal it closed I mail it to the tax man and all his friends They get rich, I go to work again They get rich, I go to work again. Ooh, hey, hello, internet. <laughs> We're pit wagon. I'm Matt, and that's Emily, and that's Josh, and that's Matt, and uh, other Matt and Ben aren't here, but we miss them. Where is she? Lives a life out of a bowl of cherries And she paints my mood The color of the sands And I got black hearted baby Ain't gonna read your books no more Well, I strolled through Mississippi and I ran through Louisiana Skipped all around Alabama Just to see my southern bed And I cried black hearty baby Ain't gonna sing a song stone wrong I got your long slender legs walking on Breakfast got your big brown boots for kicking in my door. And I cry, black hearty baby, ain't gonna push your buttons no more. Well, she knows how to skip my stones over her muddy water, and she grinds my bones. Sharpen my knives with her vampire teeth She knows how to close my eyes with her dirty sheets And I cry, black hearted baby Ain't gonna be gone no more I got your long slender legs walking on Breakfast got your big brown eyes staring down my door, and I cry, black hearted baby, ain't gonna carry a burden no more. Well, I strolled through Mississippi and I ran through Louisiana, skipped all around. Just to see myself in bed And I cry Black hearted baby Ain't gonna push your buttons And I cry Black hearted baby Ain't gonna read your books And I cry Black hearted baby Ain't gonna sing your songs no
talk on the microphone. Private. This next song is called Privates. Yeah, those privates. Sounds called the universe. We're really 
we're really happy to be here. We're really thankful for the opportunity.
Thanks. Uh, hey, Internet. It's really beautiful here. I shouldn't probably tell you that. This next song is called Metal. I guess it speaks for itself. The lyrics, not the title. It's our only metal song. Yeah, it does. you ain't ever seen Well have you ever seen Like really nasty sin Like one that curls your blood And keeps you up at night Talk to ghosts and they talk back to you. Well, have you ever flown in? Shit you should be proud of. Shit that you should talk loud of, but you don't. My vague memories are love, sanity. My family, my friends, and my lovers And when I break free I'll move to Tennessee And I'll start this whole nightmare all over Fell. The opposite of hell The opposite of so-called feeling good Well, have you ever dealt With someone other than yourself Someone besides me That you thought you were my vague memories her love sanities and my family my friends and my lovers and when I break free I'll move to Tennessee and I'll start this whole nightmare all over
some like faster songs hello world Matt says hi world Catch him to the ballroom and shut it right down. Take him on a double drive him out of town. Picking up on waves before the storm. Choosing your regrets before they're born. They found me on the bathroom floor. Tearing up my books. Putting pills back in the bottle. Hanging around with crooks. Turned on by everything. Take a sip out of this to see what I mean. I'm falling off the second floor, but I climbed to the third. Got a little too high and went back on my work. I'm washing out my worries in the kitchen sink, cleaning out my mind if you know what I mean. I'm cleaning out my mind if you know what I mean. Washing out my worries in the kitchen sink Picnic with my baby down at the park Carving I love you in the first street bar Cleaning out my mind if you know what I mean Washing out my worries in the kitchen sink Saying who wants me and I want who It's a mean old world when you do what I do I'm washing out my worries in the kitchen. 
It's called Brink, Trash Road. called banking and then the next song is called shuffle but they there's not a stop in between them
begging I own the fact that you don't want to see me tonight Begging I own the fact that you don't want to be me tonight Begging I own the fact that you can understand what is right I'll let you know Well, begging on the fact that you can understand what you've done. Begging on the fact that you can find comfort in a song. Begging on the fact that you can hold my future in your palm. I'll let you know. Time and again, time and again, my feet feel sad. Time and again, time and again, it breaks me down. Ooh, ooh, banking on the fact that freedom is a thing we all believe. Banking on the fact that you can take control of what you leave. Banking on the fact that you can achieve what you perceive. I'll let you know. Well, banking on the fact that you can hold the things that you trust. Banking on the fact necessity makes you do what you must. Banking on the fact that life will turn your break into a buzz. I'll let you know. Time and again, time and again, my feet feel sad.
soul There's black hole And I can't escape And I can't escape Stand the troops in Grab your favorite gun Protect your property See how far you come Take a half hour break Five times a week Send a letter to my sister, burn my guitar Slap three witches on the favorite star Find a good old tavern, hold my wake I hope my time comes, set the bottom of it Take it to the river, put me on a boat Throw me in the water, pray to God I float Time to die, drown me in the wake I hope my time comes, set the bottom of it Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have two more songs left. Is that?
postcard I just see the devil and he wrote right back to me Saying, son, take your trouble somewhere else You're gonna have to do it by yourself Well, don't be but me with your boy tragedy I got bigger fish to fly for heaven and hell and let you Hey, thanks everybody. We're Pit Wagon. We're from Eau Claire. Like, you can find us on the internet. You know how to use the internet. Um, <laughs> we're going to play one more song. No, we're, all you are. <laughs> uh, we're really, really, really happy to be here, like I said before. Yeah, a little bit, everybody. The song's called Gramps. I had to take a sip of beer, man. <laughs> All right, thank you everybody very, very much. We're really happy to be here. Well, I saw Jesus. Jesus, just some white guy on the bathroom wall. I was on acid, not battery acid. I'm happy to six and I'm sitting on Well, the times you wish you'd done something different. All oh, the times you're glad you did everything the same. All oh, the times you wonder if you stayed out of the kitchen. In the wrong end of the cigarette Leaving up to Grandpa's name Well, I was naked And my friends were naked And we slept in a dusty house that night We drank old Milwaukee Spent the night talking About leaving and never losing sight Well, the times you wish We'd done something different all the times you're glad you did everything the same All the times you wonder if you stay out of the kitchen Smoking the wrong end of a cigarette living up to Grandpa's name I went to Missouri with my best friend Some odd years ago when I was 18 I still remember the way I felt then I had with some they set me free I moved to New Orleans After that one storm I hung drywall and drank and sang each night I met Coyote And that's a real man I learned how to dance And to call my heavy bag of crap Well, the times you wish You'd done something different All the times you're glad You did everything the same all the times you wonder if you stayed out of the kitchen Smoking the wrong end of a cigarette living up to Grandpa's name Thanks Hey, check. Oh, there it is. Pit Wagon. Everybody out there. Everybody up there. Everybody over there. Make noise. This is a band I want to party with until 2 a.m. at the bar. <laughs> and then go back to their house and party until dawn with them. Thank you so much. That was great. Uh, just to let you know what's coming up. If you don't have a schedule in front of you, Molly Tuttle's next. Uh, live from Homestead. And then Kind Country, who I said are warming up in the pines over there. They'll be out after that. Thank you for sending in your photos and your comments. Please keep them coming. Uh, thanks to uh, Bell's Beer for sponsoring as well. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit.
Hey, I'm Bill DeVille. It's the virtual Blue Ox Festival, and I'm so excited to introduce this artist. She's the 2018 Instrumentalist of the Year via the Americana Awards and Honors. She's the first woman to win the International Bluegrass Music Association's Guitar Player of the Year Award as well. Her latest album came out last year called When You're Ready, and she's known for her fantastic flat-picking style. It is Molly Tuttle. Give it up for her. Well, hello everyone at the Blue Ox Festival. Really happy to be part of this um, virtual festival. I'm coming to you all from Nashville, Tennessee. And I thought I'd get things started with my song, Save This Heart. Thanks to everyone tuning in out there. Um, yeah, I haven't done too many of these virtual festivals, but this is fun to feel like at least I'm <laughs> part of some sort of um, festival, even though it's not the traditional kind of in-person festival, um, but I can feel all the good energy out there. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a brand new guitar that I just got from the Thompson guitar, Preston Thompson Guitar Company out in Oregon. It's the new Molly Tuttle signature guitar. I'm really excited about it. This is one of the first times I've actually gotten to play it for people. I was going to take it out on the road um, this spring and summer, but obviously that didn't happen. But um, yeah, it's exciting <laughs> to get to play it for you guys today. Um, yeah, well, I'll just keep rolling here with the tunes. Um, speaking of rolling, <laughs> this is called Sit Back and Watch It Roll.
Well, um, I came out with a record about a year ago. I've been working on some new recordings here in quarantine. I finally got um, my little home studio set up, so I'm excited to get to share some new music with you all soon. Um, but this is one off my record from last year, which was actually my first, first full-length record called When You're Ready. This is one called High Road. the good vibes. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do a cover now. This is one by um, the band The Yeah Yeah Yeahs. This came out when I was in high school and yeah it was one of my favorite songs back then. Um, I remember listening to it over and over again and um, the singer Karen O of The Yeah Yeah Yeahs, she was so awesome. Well she is so awesome. Um, but I remember she had this really amazing haircut and one of my best friends got the same haircut as her, which was so cool. 
at the time um, when it came out, uh, it was an awesome like bowl cut. And I remember I thought that was so cool. I still think it's super cool, but um, I love this song so much. And um, I made two of my friends work out a little dance routine with me for our tap dancing unit in dance class, which was not as cool as the rad haircut, but <laughs> so even though I have some maybe more embarrassing memories um, associated with this song, I still love to play it. It's called Zero. <laughs> Get your leather, leather 
my friend Steve Potts. He's such a fun person, such a fun songwriter. I love writing songs with him. Um, let's see, what next? Okay, I'll do another one um, that I wrote with another friend in Nashville. This one I wrote with Maya DeVitri, who's just such a brilliant songwriter. Um, definitely check out her record. She has a new one that came out recently, and she's just incredible. But we wrote this one together um, for my last record. And yeah, I want to send this out to all of you. Um, I know these are tough times right now, but um, hopefully we can come together at the end of this and make some positive changes for everyone. So this is one, send this out to everyone listening, called Light Came In, Power Went Out. You're a spark lit up the sky two more I think thanks so much to everyone at the Blue Ox Festival for having me this is so exciting such a wonderful lineup of bands too um, I'm excited to just watch everyone today um, I guess I'll do two more for you guys this is one that I wrote when I was living in Boston and trying to figure out what to do next I just gotten out of school and I was kind of at a standstill I felt like and I was trying to write songs each day I'd wake up and 
um, go to my little desk in my tiny um, third story, super tiny room I was renting in Boston and um, try to write a song, usually get frustrated and start over the next day and throw out the song from the day before and never go back to it. <laughs> Finally, I got tired of doing that, so I wrote this one just to try to remind myself that sometimes it's okay to <laughs> just be yourself and wherever you're at, it's okay. This is called Good Enough. hear the train <laughs> rolling past my house here in East Nashville and I think I've got time for one more song for y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in and thanks to everyone at the festival for having me. This is really fun playing for y'all today. gonna try to stall until the train went by but <laughs> I think it's a slow moving train I think I'm just gonna start
much. Have a wonderful rest of your evenings. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Thanks for having me. Hey, I'm Bill DeVille, host of United States of Americana on The Current. It happens Sundays from 8 until 10. And here we are with my old friends, Pertner Sandstone, live from the Pines. 
Blue Wire Bill. Music Festival. How's it going, fellas? Good, it's Bill. Great. Is he busy? All right. Uh, so, where where are y'all at? Nate, where are you? Uh, I'm in uh, Longfellow Avenue, staying at a Airbnb about a block from Chatterbox Cafe. So, kind of my old stomping grounds here. Right on. Well, welcome back to the Twin Cities. You're in LA most of the time, right? Yeah, it's great to be back. It's uh, every time I'm here, I'm just like blissing out in the trees and the, the beautiful weather. So it's, it's a nice time of year to be back in Minnesota for sure. Where are you at, Kevin? I'm at my house in Longfellow. Uh, yeah, out on the porch. Nice day for that. The sun yeah, is out. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Justin, how are you, dude? Oh, I'm good. I'm uh, up in Como Park at my in-laws. Um, just hanging out up here. Got out of our house for you know, a few hours. It's just like sometimes the monotony of your own home gets to you to the point where you just need a change of scenery. And thankfully our in-laws are, we they've kind of opened up and said, it's okay to come over now because we hadn't for months been over here at all. So the, my kids are thrilled to be back home. over here, needless to say. Grandma, grandma and grandpa are way cooler than mom and dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that the way it usually goes? Yeah. <laughs> You better yeah. behave yourself, Justin, or you're going to get thrown out. Yeah, well, <laughs> ready. So I imagine it's been a while since you guys have all seen each other in person, huh? Yeah, we've been getting together and rehearsing this week, so keeping a backyard social distancing. We're in Kevin's garage today, uh, entertaining some neighbors who are jogging by and walking their dog and kids and things. So it's it's been a nice change of pace to actually be together in person making music. So, so what's it like? You guys are, you know, a working band, a gigging band, and uh, you haven't been able to play in front of a, a live audience now. When was the last time you performed live together? This year? Uh, Did you play this year even? The Cedar. Yeah, yeah the Cedar. In February. Yep. Then at Leap, Leap Day. Leap Day, yeah. In February, we had our, our winter string band gathering. Little did we know, we had a huge, huge spring and summer planned, obviously around the album. and. Yeah. Yeah. Certainly over 60 dates. By the time June is out, over 60 dates will have been postponed or, or canceled. Um, and it's been, yeah, just really different. A, not seeing each other, you know, weekly. Uh, and then B, you know, all these, all these travel plans. That, uh, you're, you're working musicians and there's no, you know, cash rolling in. And um, it's, it's yeah. tough times being in a band, isn't it? It is, yeah. It I is. mean, these these are the times that maybe uh, open up the source, you know, for more songwriting. Uh, all kinds of emotional stuff happening really all across the community and the world, and uh, you know, it's kind of some some good to being holed up with all your creative tools, uh, you know, in your in your house. But I sure, miss hanging out with these guys. Don't tell them. <laughs> I won't. So it's been uh, it's been four years since you had a new album. I love the last one, and the new album is called uh, Rising Tide. Tell us about the album. Sure. Um, well, it, it it kind of has come together slowly over the last four years. We've had a couple of these songs recorded, maybe a year and a half or more ago. Uh, we were able to get into studio again with Ryan Young and and start recording tracks, and we almost recorded two albums worth of songs before we decided that there was kind of an overarching overarching theme uh, that we were able to piece together a 10 song album and, and keep it, keep uh, the rising tide kind of, kind of happening as a sort of a commentary on the modern world that we live in and, and uh, reflecting where we are as songwriters and people uh, individually as well as a band and uh, yeah it's it's been a long time coming but we're super proud of how it turned out other thoughts Kevin yeah I, I really I mean I've been um, looking forward to putting this album out for over I think a year we were kind of trying to think about when the right time to release it was and then we were just sure that june was going to be a good idea let's wait a little bit longer <laughs> and you know yeah little did we know that uh we wouldn't really be able to have a proper release party you know so we're excited to get uh out to the pines you know when we're showing this video we'll be there having fun uh in the woods so you don't have to um yeah and... i mean i don't know if it's going to be cathartic or kind of 
torturous to be there yeah. performing we'll see. to nobody. <laughs> Tell us how we look. Do we look like we're having fun or do we look tortured? <laughs> Yeah. You gotta learn to you gotta yeah, learn to like, smile for the cameras. <laughs> right. And like, you know, somehow acknowledge the end of a song and that people I don't know, it's just so it's just so bizarre. As like I've watched other live streams like Sturgill's from the the Ryman, you know. He's like sometimes he steps up to the mic and he just sits there and he's like doesn't know what to say, so that he just goes away from the mic, grabs his coffee, it has a drink, and then they just start another song, you know? Cause there's like, you know, you're, you use, you're so used to having that in between song, you know, like everybody's catching a breath or talking to their neighbor or, you know, applauding the last song. And then, you know, <laughs> what it's yeah. gonna be like to just like structure a set and like try and keep the music flowing, you know? And I'm kind of a radio geek, you know, and every and uh, when you roll out on stage, you're nervous as heck. But the somehow or another, when you got the applause happening when you're on a stage, it takes you to a whole new level, and the the nerves just go. You forget about it, and you just get caught up in the moment. And when you're playing right. in front of a crowd, in front of no music that or no, you know, the no live audience in front of you, it's got to be a whole different experience. There's there's something you know? about that though. I mean when. I think those moments that you strive for as a musician playing with your band, I think you achieve those and the audience kind of disappears. The room melts away. It's just nothing but you and the music. So I think, you know, hope maybe it'll be in a sense easier to kind of get to that zone with the band and where we can just jam and not worry about uh, what we're doing and just be in the moment. Um, but having said that, I really hope that uh, people, hearing this interview right now will be taking pictures of their families partying in the backyard dancing to the live music that we're streaming um i know people are having block parties and uh potlucks and things you know as uh, as safely as they're able to so hopefully we we get sent quite a few of those pictures and we can see that the community is in fact all there we're all in in connection it's just in a different way right now yeah, I've watched so many sessions, you know, on, on the computer now for the last, well, since March. And most of them they really don't have a vibe. You know, it's somebody performing into a, you know, a condenser a microphone in their laptop. And the audio is not very good and there's no lighting. It's, it's, there's probably a white bookcase right behind them. And it's just there's no vibe. But this is going to be better than that. I just have a feeling. Because for one, you're going to be back at the, the home base, you know, the campground there in Eau Claire. So and we will have stage and lights too. So yeah, we're yeah. really looking forward to it. It's kind of Plus, uh, like Jamgrass is they're total pros too. Like Jam, right. Jamgrass TV is total pro outfit. Yeah, I feel like people are gonna really feel like they're there. Um, I mean, as close as you can be without actually being there. Yeah. So take us back to the very beginning. How did Pertnier Sandstone get started? How many years ago was it now? Kevin? Gosh, over 15. I mean, I got to think maybe it's getting closer to 17, do you think, Nate? Something like that? 16, yeah, it was it 2003, 2004? Somewhere in there. Um, yeah. So we, I think it was at the Acadia Cafe, if I remember correctly. I was, I was out traveling around. Came, I came back into town. We went out to see Jay and Ryan. They're, they were in a free jazz band. Uh, Ta Tanya and the Fiscal Family Wholesome Planner was that the Tanya name of the that Wholesome free... Family Fiscal Planner? Fiscal Planner, yeah. <laughs> yeah. kind of a cumbersome name. Yeah, yep. yeah. Sean, Sean Roderick was in that band. Liz Draper was in that band. Nick yeah. Selitsky. It was a great band of like all stars from around town. Um, yeah, and, uh, and, and it was in the lobby of the Acadia where it was at the time in um, the corner of Nicolet and yep. Franklin. Yeah. We were chatting during the break or after uh, and uh, realizing like, oh, you guys are playing acoustic music. You guys are, oh, we got, yeah, we got some like folk music happening. And I had been traveling around with the mandolin, learning some uh, old time repertoire, fiddle tunes and decided to uh, join one of your practices and it kind of stuck. We've been, yeah. we've been playing music ever since then. Yeah. Well, he was never invited and he refused <laughs> to leave. Um, but, you know, we're all like high school friends at, at that point time you know it was ryan and jay and i and then shortly after like you know second third fourth practice nate joined us and those guys were already in i don't know 
eight, nine other bands uh, of every genre, really. Uh, you know, Ryan was playing lots of electric guitar. And um, I mean, they, yeah, it was really fun, kind of prolific times for them. Um, but not a lot of uh, gigs happening that were paying money. Um, and, you know, people were interested in seeing folk music and we were having such a good time playing together that we just thought, well, let's try to see if we can get a gig somewhere. We've got to get a coffee shop. And we kind of said, that was fun. Do you guys, what do you like better coffee or beer? And everybody liked beer better. We started playing in the bars. <laughs> Did the band have, have a turning point where things started to take off and you became more viable and you're starting to get better gigs? Do you know when that was or what it was? Yeah, it's probably like about the time when you say Nate that we were, I mean, we, we kind of decided it was going to be hard as like a, you know, ragtag, string band to get too uh deep into like the bluegrass community because there's a lot of real great traditional bluegrass happening we didn't quite fit that and we weren't really a square dance band or an old time band we were kind of somewhere in between and we just decided we had to kind of make our own path and so at the hexagon which you know we know has we just recently lost that building here in, in the community. Sad we lost that club yeah it was the, yeah. It was the first club we played um and, you know, we, we just kind of decided we had to make our own way. And we started producing these monthly showcases where we had, like, you know, all these bands that we loved going out and seeing play, like Justin's band uh, at the time, Pocahontas County, Crush Collision Trio, uh, The Ditch Lilies, all these great folk bands. And we started putting on this monthly showcase. And, uh, like, you know, the hex was bursting at the seams. And we were like, well, maybe we should take this to, like, a bigger room. Do you think we could play a bigger room? Um, and people just, you know, were really supporting that music, uh, not not just with us, but with people across the community. And so we started putting shows on at the Caboose, and those kept growing. And I feel like that's really when we started, when we kind of made the Caboose our home base. It's where I kind of felt like, wow, this is really something here. It's kind of an underrated venue. I mean, it's pretty good size, and there's always yeah. kind of a nice vibe there. And yeah, I don't get yeah. there as much as I wish. Then again, I haven't been to a club since uh, <laughs> yeah, right, early March. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and back then there was all kinds of great stuff happening there uh and you know we were really plugged into the community that was hanging out there you know white iron band had like a pretty regular thing there and uh, anyway it was great i mean what a good time to be playing music in the city and um and then we started traveling you know because like these local shows enough people would come out we'd say hey we could you know drive out to colorado we got enough money to put in the gas tank you know from these local shows because there's such a great support here from this community that it really is the thing that allowed us to become a traveling band. So I imagine yeah. when you'd first go out on the road, there'd be nobody at your shows, right? Or did there oh, was yeah. enough word of mouth? That, I uh, feel like there was a, there was a, one of the turning points for us, I think was when we were going out originally with other bands. So for example, we went out with Trampled by Turtles and they were the first band that we toured with supporting them all the way out to the West coast. And they, they kind of introduced us to not only the audience that they've uh, been able to get in front of in tours previous, but also um, all the Midwesterners, all the Minnesotans that have moved out to Portland and elsewhere, uh, that side of the country, kind of showing, showing them who's coming up back in their hometown. And those people still come out to our shows when we, when we travel out there and really kind of, paved the way for us to some degree and kind of showed us, you know, where the clubs were and what towns are, are really supportive. And I think that was, you know, from that point forward, we changed our jobs and figured out how we could do this more, uh, more um, deliberately. Yeah. Yeah. It was really inspiring seeing those guys being able to just make it all over the country and, you know, them being so welcoming and, you know, yeah, it was great to be able to figure out how to get out there. Yeah, one of the unique things about about uh, you guys, Pertner Sandstone, is your name. Where in the world did it come from? I mean, I, I know where Sandstone is, right up on the way to Duluth, but what yeah. name? Uh, well, that's kind of interesting, actually. Um, you know, we uh, maybe would have called ourselves something differently if you know if we would have known 17 years or whatever later, we'd still be a band. Um, but Ryan Young uh, tells a story about how at the show, was it at the entry? Is that how the story goes? I think it's at 7th Street entry or something, or, or maybe, you know, he was at the entry uh, and ran into Mike Watt and asked him, like, you know, when you were naming the band Firehose, what were some of the bands that you 
band names you didn't use. And apparently Pertnier was one of them. Uh, and like, you know, we were playing this kind of old timey music. Everybody in the band at the time had a parent who grew up on a farm. So he kind of thought that was like this perfect thing, you know? Um, and Jay and I insisted that it had to be like, we have to be Pertnier something. Uh, and Ryan was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we do, but you know, we insisted on it. And so it was between Pertnier Sandstone and Pertnier Space Dock. Um, <laughs> and sandstone one so yeah i forgot that mike watt connection actually yeah I was just told the story an hour ago to somebody else and i forgot all about that yeah <laughs> worst name in bluegrass bill yeah we were <laughs> once that, we, i kind of yeah. like, like it i kind of like it that's often the response oh, i kind of like it <laughs> <laughs> i can't show you but oh i can show you here i can show you it's, i got a sticker right here there it is Right near. <laughs> it doesn't translate yeah, incredibly is, well when we travel like in idea. Europe, you know, but because uh, people are like, put in your sandstone, what's that? So we got to make sure there's like, you know, fiddles and banjos and stuff on the posters so people know what they're getting into. But, but yeah, that's, the, yeah. So how did the, the Blue Ox Festival, how did you become involved? You kind of, you know, have been host now. How many years has it been? Has it been like, has it been 10 years now? Six uh, years now. Be the sixth year, Six yep. years, okay. Yeah. You know, it feels like 10 yeah 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 um yeah, it was really great we were playing with the traveling mccurries on justin's first tour actually ever with us um yeah there it is traveling mccurry shirt even i like Colorado. it dude. yeah we're yep. in denver um and the bishels uh, happened to be out visiting mark uh i think mark was uh, maybe he had to move out of wisconsin he had some trouble with the law or something <laughs> <laughs> probably that's, that's actually not true but uh they were out there visiting him and uh, he's like, hey, you know, we should go check out the McCurries. They're a festival family. They've been throwing country music festivals for decades. And, you know, uh, Mark was really into bluegrass. And so he brought uh, the family out to see this Traveling McCurry show. And there's this band from Minnesota opening. And I think, you know, kind of a light bulb went off. We had talked about maybe doing like a bluegrass side stage at their country festival. Um, but we had always really wanted to throw just a bluegrass focused festival. And we were able to kind of sit down and, um, you know, decide amongst ourselves that that seemed like a good idea and what would we call it and could we have it just right here on the grounds and I mean they've been just amazing partners you know they know how to throw a festival from an operational perspective and I don't know there's a group better at doing it than they are you know and um, with our management company Periscope and Mark Gearing in particular and you know just such a great visionary in terms of how to get acts together and you know how to set the vibe of a festival i mean we just really feel really blessed on all on all fronts in terms of the team that we have around us supporting the festival like this guy here hey louis uh <laughs> hi, louis. hi so you know it just feels like this magical kind of uh, thing that's happened to us and we just couldn't be more grateful any personal highlights over the course of the last six years justin well, I mean, it's just been kind of surreal to feel like, you know, like when Sam Bush joined us on stage, that was like the first time I was like, this is not even real, you know, <laughs> like, yeah. how is this even possible that this little band from Minneapolis is all of a sudden like sharing the stage with people like Sam Bush and then, you know, you know, and just kind of just being able to play host and to greet people that we have discovered and like to be able to show cat showcase acts that we love from around the country, but then also to share the stage with these monsters of the genre who have been around for decades and decades. I mean, I feel like that is, that is the biggest highlight for me in the last six years is just kind of that overwhelming sense of, how lucky we are and how how cool this all is and and to be able to be a part of you know right i just learned that sam bush actually uh guested on an old uh, john prine album back in the day i had no idea he's one of the session guys on an old john prine album yeah that guy's he's done played, a lot of work he's probably played on a million albums right seriously yeah. nate do you have any highlights yeah i think year one playing was it year one where we jumped to that campground stage with bella fleck and victor wooten that was just kind of a a surreal experience for me as a musician that that definitely year, goes down year two is it two maybe three. yeah yeah 
And aside from that, I guess I kind of echo what Justin was saying about, you know, just really uh, being able to present an event like this to our community of friends, uh, music patrons, uh, the musicians themselves. You know, I, I really feel like it's an honor for us to provide a link, like a, a chain of communication between musicians and an audience and, and be able to present both of them. You know, like I'm, I'm as much a music uh, lover and patron of the, of the music scene as I am a musician. And I want to help show people that we're all just people. We're all just here enjoying the same thing and doing the same thing and presenting, uh, presenting each, each to each. Yeah. And, uh, and that we're all, we're all of, of the same mold. We're all, we're all here doing it together. And uh, it's really great to be able to present that to people. And that seems like a nice place to wrap it up. Nice chat, gentlemen. That's Pert awesome. Near Sandstone, live from the Pines, the Blue Ox Virtual Music Festival. So do you, are you optimistic about the actual festival happening in late August? I guess it's the only way to be, right? Yeah, we got to be hopeful. Hold on hope. Hold on hope, yeah. as guided by voices said. <laughs> All right, thank you, gentlemen. Yeah, thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Bill. You bet. Take care. See you soon. Bye now. Yeah, see ya.
And that is perfect. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Um, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. Welcome to the sunset portion of today's uh, broadcast. <laughs> it's still a show, um, but it's also a broadcast. These are our good friends, Kind Country. They're from Minneapolis and St. Paul and Owatonna and Duluth and uh, yeah. Brooklyn Park, all over. Um, Chris, I've, I've been watching. You've, you've got a great place right on the Mississippi River, and it looks like you've been having some good times out there. A couple practices, maybe. Yeah. Um, it is really wonderful to see them, friendly faces, right here. Hopefully, you're all watching, and uh, I'm picturing your friendly faces out there. Um, thanks again. Here's we got a birthday girl coming on camera. Happy birthday, Josie. <laughs> yeah, no. How could you, Mom? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, you know, the same spiel as before. We got Kind Country coming, and Travel McCurry's after that, and then we'll get on stage and uh, have uh, you help us celebrate our new album. Um, Thanks to Bells. If you guys want to donate, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna donate a portion of the proceeds to um, some good causes as well. Check that out on the YouTube like little drop down box, and on the website. Um, no more words from me. Let's hear some tunes from them, ladies and gentlemen. Kind country. All right. Thanks for having us. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, Blue Ox. It's good to see you. We're Kind Country, straight out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. We're gonna have some fun. Three. Let's do this. Black Lives Matter, you know that is what that is what it's about. Let's do this thing. I've been traveling, it gets so hard to leave my home behind. Through the golden fields of corn and the mighty wind turbines, your pretty face it don't escape my mind. Until I get you all alone, you don't get a chance to do me wrong. I'll be sure to make you smiles, I'll be gone a while. I'm gonna make damn sure you miss me when I'm gone. But just holding on the love Has never steered me wrong before I find When I get you all alone You don't get a chance to do me wrong I'll be sure to make you smile so I'll be gone a while I'm gonna make damn sure you miss me when I'm gone
wrong I'll be sure to make you smile so I'll be gone a while I'm gonna make damn sure you miss me when I'm Thank you very much. So good to be with you. It's good to be here. And like the best Blue Ox uh, music festival weather that's ever existed. <laughs> we're very lucky. So we're going to play for y'all a song uh, that we recorded uh, and released a few years back. The song's called Mountains. And sometimes in your life, to make the changes that you need to make and the, to go to the places that you want to go with your life, it feels like you have to move mountains. And that's what we're trying to do out of Minneapolis and all, all across the country every day. So before we start this next song, I'd like to ask for nine seconds of silence for George Floyd. Well, I pushed and I plugged, I dragged my feet through the mud, and now I can't move the mountains in my way, in my way, in my way. I can't move the mountains in my way, and if I get there to the top and leave the bottom for the rocks. I sit up top and look down at my home, at my home, at my home. I sit up top and look down at my home. been sworn and sit on down by the river side along side along side along and sit on down by the river side along well I pushed in a shove broke my back just to make it budge and now I can't move the mountains in my way in my way, in my way, I can't move the mountains in my way. But I'm gonna keep my legs astride, leave the past and climb. 
to the other side and I'm never looking back no 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 Sweat, tears, and blood. But now I can't move the mountains in my way. In my way. In my way. I can't move the mountains in my way. In my way. tune up for a minute and I'm going to read y'all an interesting an interesting uh, letter that was written by the Ontario Ontario Society of Bird Watching um, and if you replace bird watching with any other kind of pronoun you might be amazed at what you could find about other hobbies bird watching is a racialized hobby where whiteness and white privilege work together to keep it non-black what this means is that the birders are white may belong to white burning clubs and go on birding walks in woodsy areas which are seen as white spaces. If they are lucky, they may encounter a black birder once every decade. And that was said by the Ontario Society of Burning last week. This is a song of ours. I wrote it, a few songs. First song is called Take Me Home.
this city made of matches and I'll burn it to the ground when you did what you did you said fire so I'm sifting through the ashes trying to find solid ground but I can't so I sleep with one eye open and a gun under my bed you know the route to get you but you don't know where it went and so you hide behind the sheets and that the fear still lives in your mind in your mind in your mind Time and wait for spring to come. Call up Rosalie to end, you know she won't be long. And so you wait for the radio to play your favorite song. And it's time, and it's time, and it's time.
Thanks, Blue Ox. Blocks. Blocks. Blocks on blocks. At the Blue Ox, as our good buddy Adam Grohl likes to say. Blocks on blocks. All right, we got some time for more music. Y'all ready for more music? We're going to play another, another song um, off the EP we released in 2017 called Mountains. Uh, the song is called Ball and Chain. I wrote it about being locked up in my head and not really knowing how to reach out and love people. And that's something I've been really working on in my own personal journey to deprogram my racism and become an ally to this movement. And I think everybody should do the same, so. We're all in this together. We all got a lot to learn. We all got a long way to go, and there's nothing wrong with starting fresh, right near, right now. Trapped inside where I was afraid, nervous and unsure. With walls so high, I could not see the confusion was my floor. But I'm sad to say I'm on my way, I'm not going to close the door on the truth or the silence. my body sore and all those demons that laughed at me were an illusion from before well I'm sad to say I'm on my way I'm not gonna close the door there's no use in hiding anymore I'm just chipping to get back on my feet again I'm going back to where you came It's not the same as where you've been
Thank you. We're gonna get we're gonna get the lovely and talented uh, singer songwriter from Feeding Leroy up here to do a song. Everybody, please welcome to the stage, Sonia Martin. <laughs> we were talking about you the whole time. There's another lovely and talented singer songwriter from Feeding Leroy on stage too. He's just You're as lovely. lovely. He's just as lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's Lee Martin, you everybody. Guys are too kind. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good out there. In Blue Ox land. And in live stream, in the live stream river. It feels empty without everybody here hanging out with us. Um, but it looks like there's some really nice improvements and the grass looks great. <laughs> there is actually a thousand people just behind the cameras, but you're not supposed to know about it. So. You might think that maybe we're not social distancing very well, but we've actually all been quarantining right here at Whispering Pines since, um, since the lockdown. <laughs> yeah. Living here in harmony. No cases. No cases. Headed for the west and I left in the pouring rain And I made it to the mountains to find out that everything is the same It ain't the same And the Tennessee devil came along to melt my heart Place to start So if you're driving for a while And you're pulling just a bit to the right And you're dreading all the miles That you had to make it through in the night Find a friend downtown She'll be around Load. Let the whistle blow with the Tennessee Devil
all the miles that you had to make it through in the night. Find a friend downtown, she'll be around. Take a heavy load, let the whistle blow with the Tennessee Devil tonight. Thank you, guys. Sonia Martin, Lee Martin, that's a song by the band Feed and Leroy. We're going to play an actual bluegrass song. The song is written by Bill Monroe. Little known fact uh, about Bill Monroe, he got one, some of his first paid gigs and learned how to play music not only from his Uncle Penn, but also from Arnold, Sch Arnold Schultz, a black fiddler and guitarist from Kentucky and Ohio. So you could really say bluegrass was invented by a black man. And that's what we're talking about today. Here's Wheelhouse for you. song for y'all. on the wall.
Just about all the time we got, y'all. Thanks for listening to Kind Country. Thanks for tuning in to Blue Ox. Black Lives Matter. Read black authors. Follow black influencers. I'm going to call out Soren Staff from Them Cooley Boys and Ronnie McCurry from the Travel McCurries to say Black Lives Matter in their set at least three times. You guys have been great. We love you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Hey, hey. Hey, give it up again for Kind Country, everybody at home, everybody out with your friends. Thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep on trucking. I think Travel McCurry's are up next. Hurt here. Once we, uh, once these guys get off stage, we're going to get up and get ready and uh, help celebrate the release of our new album. Thank you all so much for hanging in and uh, tuning in. We love you all, and we wish you were here. I'm not even going to tell you how nice it is out here, <laughs> even though I just did. But uh, thank you all, and thank you, Kind Country, once again. We'll see you soon. Hey there, I'm Captain Carl. We're in the Bell's Beer Garden in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We want to send out a, a big cheers to all our friends at Blue Ox Music Festival. We love you. We can't wait to see you in person. Cheers. Hey Blue Ox, it's Chris with Bells over in Minneapolis to one of my most favorite festivals of the year. Cheers.
Hi, I'm Ronnie McCurry. I'm Rob McCurry. With the Traveling McCurries. Sorry we couldn't be with you <laughs> folks at Blue Ox this year. Yeah, we're going to send a couple songs for you to check out, and uh, we hope that you enjoy it, and we will see you in 2021. Be safe. See you soon. This is one entitled Knoppet Hill. <laughs>
here's a uh, Osborne Brothers song written by Paul Kraft called Midnight Fly.
This is one entitled On the Lonesome Wind. <laughs>
follow the right hand. the shaker.
Listen, this is gonna get better the deeper we get. You guys know that, right? It's gonna be like the Jepson Malort video. <laughs> it's gonna be like, I'm Amy! <laughs> It'll be like... All right, uh, hey, I'm uh, Andy Farrell from Bell's Brewery. I work on the brewing side at the brewery. I'm Amy Richards, and I work on the marketing side at the brewery. <laughs> cool, so the next beer that we're gonna talk about here is uh, official, which is uh, Bell's uh, Hazy IPA. It's a beer that we released, uh, I guess, in early 2019. Um, kind of our take on, on Hazy IPA. Uh, super aromatic, um, you know, pungent, uh, juicy hops, uh, more of a, a modern interpretation uh, of, of the style of IPA. And um, we thought that this beer would pair really well with our festival hosts, Pernier Sandstone. They know, they of our, our official band of Blue Ox and knowing how to throw a serious bluegrass pick and party. Dang, why didn't, I'd be, I'd be caught, I'd be caught that. Was... Yeah, they're kind of like um, our official band and hosts of Blue Ox this year and every year. Uh, they do a fantastic job of hosting a great festival party with um, tons of musicians, talented folks from all over, and this year no different in the form of virtual. Probably need to stop saying that part. We all know we're virtual, right? <laughs> The kids are calling that Virch, Amy. <laughs> they are? Yeah, it's Virch. Oh, whoa. In the social meads? <laughs> in the, so the abreaves, yes. Um, um, we would like to thank Pertnir... <laughs> Pertnir Handstone. <laughs> oh my goodness. Pertnir Stan... <laughs> Pertnir Stan... Now I can't even... Pertnir... Yep. Sandstone. <laughs> Thanks for hosting the official picking party of Blue Ox. <laughs> <laughs>me again even got the blue ox hat on how about that huh from right here in the twin cities the band is releasing rising tide just in time for the virtual blue ox festival live from one of my favorite places in the whole wide world whispering pines campground eau claire wisconsin ladies and gents it is our dear friends hurt near sandstone
Okay. Well, are you guys ready? I thought Justin would have pre-recorded an intro for us. No, Bill DeVille pre-recorded an intro for us, and I think it already played. So. Oh. Well, thanks, Bill. <laughs> are we on? Uh, are we live? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, thank you, everybody. That's very kind of you.
Fox 2020 yeah. out there in the world and not in the pines. You're here with us, though. That really felt good. Well, I was uh, surprised in the middle of that song. The it's kind of like we're, we're right back here at Blue Ox. Yeah, it feels real. It feels real. You All know how they tell people to fiddle. picture everybody in their underwear? Well, there's not that many people out there, but I'm picturing a lot of people in their underwear, and it's working. That works. Lazy boys and sectional couches. Max Graham, said, Max Graham said he had a weird dream that he woke up, he was at Blue Axe, and the only people there were Kind Country and Pert Near Sanson. <laughs> and nobody else. What a weird dream. Oh, wait. It's a living it's a reality. dream. Well, we love you. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to play a couple more tunes before we get to any new stuff. Actually, the next one's new, but this one's not new. A lot of people know this. Louie, if you're listening, I'm ready for you to dance.
on the destroyed bow over here. If anybody yeah. knows where I can find a what, horse what, around Oak Cliff. What, what happened? <laughs> we have a special tool for this particular show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, right? It broke kind of a round. Perfectly done. All right, yep. We're still here and you're still there. This tune, this next tune's off the new album. We want to send our love and support to Minneapolis and St. Paul, but all the communities around the world working for what's right. We love you all and we support you. Crazy, crazy upended time we're living in, but you know, I can't tell you how much we love you and your support. Um, we're sending out good vibes only, right, Kev? Good vibes only, that's right. This is a song about reconciliation. Try to cut the edge off, but don't make it bleed. Oh, there's nothing left to me. What you get is what you see. And what's the difference?
Thank you so much. Oh man, you can hear those frogs. You can hear yeah, the frogs. In the Kevin pond. Knievel there on the on the five string banjo. Those Kevin. frogs just started singing during that song, so <laughs> you woke them up, Kevin. Also, whose set list blew over my way here? Come on, I spent ages making these guys. <laughs> mine is safely nestled. This is mine. Start, you get two. <laughs> Congratulations. Without, a, without an audience in front of us, so this is pretty much what you get when you're hanging out in a van with us on tour. <laughs> so. A lot more profanity and insults, though. It smells the same. It smells the same. <laughs> oh, man. This is weird, but also awesome. Those of you uh, wondering, it did rain all day. Uh, and there's mud everywhere, and the bugs are really bad, so we're sorry that you couldn't be here, but uh, we're going to slog it out for you. Here's a, here's a little fiddle tune into a new one.
start Find a place to start We're only growing old It's hard or so I'm told, yeah Off our new album, isn't it, Nate? Sure is. Rising Tide, released today to the world, yes. to the internet. Thank you for coming to our CD release, album release party. Vinyls soon to be released from France sometime. Uh huh. Yes. But we do have vous plaît. <laughs> CDs for sale out really? of Kevin's garage in Minneapolis. Yep. Just uh, knock twice. We put his address on this, times. didn't we? Kevin's going to do a song off that album here as well.
you never know till I'm here till I up and disappear so Left to do, but be stuck in my mind all the time. Oh, you hope for things to change, but all they stay the same. I was stretched beyond what I could take, but I'm sure that I can make. Stuck in my mind all the time. Never know till I'm here until I disappear. Thank you so much. Hey, I want to do a cheers out there for everybody. We've got a lot of friends having parties watching this. Uh, Joe and Jason. Craig and Sarah, we know you're having parties. Cheers, y'all. Yeah, cheers. I would love for y'all to send us some photos of how you're hanging out in your backyards or your living rooms or on your blocks, celebrating Blue Ox, celebrating Rising Tide. It'd be great to hear from you all. You're here, wanna, you're here with us in spirit, for sure. Want to thank some people, too. We want to make sure we thank Kind Country, Pit Wagon, and David Huckbelt for driving down here today and, and playing live on, on, on stage, on site. Sunny War and... Lily May, Molly Tuttle, and the Travel McCurries for recording sets and, and sending them in to us. Thanks also to the Hen House Prowlers, the, the Bluegrass Ambassadors from Chicago, good buddies of ours, who are doing workshops. They did one today, and they'll do one tomorrow in the morning. Um, also, I want to add at 12, 12 p.m. tomorrow, we're going to do yoga and sound healing like we always do first thing in the morning on Saturday, Friday, and Saturday here. Uh, and then we got Nickel and Rose, Del McCurry, Sam Bush, and Warren Haynes doing home sets. Adam Gruel from Ho uh, Horseshoes will be here. Them Cooley boys, Eau Claire natives will be here. Boys. Charlie Parr, he's coming down to do a set as well. So we got another full day tomorrow. Make sure you hang out with us, check in with us, whatever you're doing, doing yard work, have us on. We love you for hanging out. This is weird, but hey, what the hell else are we going to do, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're really happy to be doing this.
things are breaking, they're breaking in my heart. Thinking I've been getting old, I got no old sweetheart. Don't get troubled in mind, don't get troubled in mind, don't get troubled in mind, don't get troubled in mind. Well, if you see that girl of mine, there's something you should tell her. She don't like my right of ways, get another fella. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. Yeah, trouble, 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 trouble on my mind. Trouble don't kill me, folks, I live until I die. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. I saw that girl, she was standing in the door With her arms around her and a baby on the floor Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind Trouble, 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 trouble on my mind Trouble don't kill me, boys, I live until I die Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. That girl of mine, I said I love her so She threw her arms around me like a grapevine around the gum. Don't, don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. Trouble, trouble, trouble on my mind. Trouble don't kill me, I live until I die. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble in your mind. Don't get trouble in your mind, don't get trouble. trouble in your mind out there everybody try not to at least <laughs> pretty hard these days hey Nate <laughs> thank you technology oh yeah 1980s technology right there <laughs> do you find that in a Wheaties box maybe we'll, ne we'll never play a, a show in front of an audience ever again we need a, now that we got that in order Actually, I'd like to thank Meryl, uh, Ma Meryl, <laughs> Meryl, <laughs> Megan and Carol combined makes Meryl. Meryl. Oh my God, wow. perfect. You guys, I didn't know you I were married to that shoe name company. For Ma you guys Megan and rich. Carol, our good, our good friends from Milwaukee. Hey, y'all should Meryl. text, you should, you should send in your COVID hair too. This is mine. <laughs> I, if I took this hat off, he'd never get it back on again. It took me three hours to get this on today. Also, this tucking those wings. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. You've had that going for a long time now, so. No, actually, since last week, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. A long time was He's last got week. That you had that since before condition. it was mandatory. <laughs> well, everybody, hang in there. This is a song I wrote off of our last album. It's one I wrote about anxiety and depression, actually.
Yeah, okay. Let's, Unusually I don't know large can, amount of woos I don't know if you out there can hear depression what just and happened anxiety. right there. But depression and anxiety got a lot of <laughs> woos. I guess it, maybe the, maybe the message is we're all kind of feeling that yeah, way right yeah. now. <laughs> Lord knows I've never felt anxiety that I have in the last in two there. weeks, three months. Tomorrow's another day, just pick up your head and try to move on. That's all good, I should, I would, I could just move on, move on, move on. same things expect it to change still I try flip a coin for a truth or a lie again and again and again and no sad inside my head that I have 
Everybody, Jay Lenz on the Gut Wrencher from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> A shout out to Brooklyn Park, Minnesota, by the way. N Nate Sype from Brooklyn, Sark Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Kevin Knievel from Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Ryan Young from Osseo. Uh, Maple, Maple Grove. Maple Grove. Uh, Maple Matt Grove. Cartier from Maple Grove. Cartier from Maple Grove. Justin. Think as thieves, y'all are. Hey, look at this. We don't know where Justin's from, actually. I'm from Blue Ox. Question marks. I was born in the lakes <laughs> in the woods. I crawled out of the muck and the mire. He Tadpole crawled. into frog. Definitely crawled into out man. Of He's a sad man. <laughs> that pond is his only mirror. <laughs> He's definitely an animal species. We know that much for sure. Hey, everybody out there sporting old Blue Ox merch or, uh, you know, this awesome tin cup that they only made once. I don't know why. I'm glad I got my hands on when I did. Cheers, y'all. It's a little late for coffee, don't you think, Justin? Yeah. Yep, coffee. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's decaf. Blue Ox staple, this one. Oh yeah, this is this. this you is were looking scene. for a sound effect for me, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. there was a couple that I uh -huh. could have chosen, but yeah. I, I laid off. <laughs> Everyone's thankful that you held All off. right, Bert and Britt. Yes. You know, this one's for you. As always, we love you. We're thinking about you. Wish you were here. That's not the tune we're playing. Wish you were here. It's not the one. No. This one's called Animal Instinct. And it goes a little something like this. Crossing the road, hot and heavy, carrying my load. I'm after you. What can I do? I see the headlights and I freeze. I'm just a bear out in the woods, big and burly, gathering my goods. I'm after you. What can I do? Step in the street. At his best, animal instinct, I guess. Human nature at his best. Oh. Never heard that clock in a while. Human nature 
bed is best. Animal instinct, I guess. Human nature at its best. Look at him, son. I'm just a boy here in my skin. Able to think about where I've been. I'm not free. What can I do? I'm on my knees, begging, please. Animal instinct, I guess. The human nature at its best. Animal instinct, I guess. Human nature at its best. Animal instinct, I guess. Human nature at its best. Animal instinct, I guess. Human nature at its best. Thank you. That's Justin Brune from Pertnir Sandstone on that bass, everybody. Thank you very much, Blue Ox fans. <laughs> I'm just gonna... really imagining that you're here. I, I just I've put it into my head that there are people in front of us more than what are, and that you're here. So, I mean, you're here with us. This actually feels real up here, I'm telling you right now. I didn't know if it would, but it actually does, and that's really cool. It helps that it's dark. We're just imagining a sea of people like we would normally have here at Blue Ox. It was a little bit distracting during the sunset because it was super beautiful and pine trees and green all out here. Very, very well behaved and quiet, but there's a sea of you. It was, yeah, it was, it's serene, it's a serene crowd here. Hollywood Nate Sype on this uh, next one he wrote. North Hollywood Nate Sype. <laughs> Off our new, newly released album, Rising Tide. Find it at all of your Sam Goodies and... Circuit Cities. Circuit Cities. <laughs> Tidal Wave. <laughs> Tidal Wave. This is Music the, uh, land. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first single off the record and... Uh, it's a good one. It's a, it's a hopeful one. I think it kind of harkens back to why we call the album Rising Tide, uh, which is what we're waiting on for each and every one of us. Yeah, I never knew if that was a good or bad. <laughs> Rising Tide lifts all boats, Justin. Yeah, yep, you know? I know, I know. We all do better when we all do better, as Wellstone said. Uh, all right. Here it is. <laughs>
Sonny Boy Nate Sipe on that one. Vintage Burton here. Right? Nate, you made a video <laughs> for that, right? Yeah, they aged me about 50 years, yes. or maybe 30 years. I like I it myself. a lot. <laughs> not as young as you want. Find to find that at Blockbuster Video. They aged me, put me in the Mojave Desert. <laughs> it was, it's a great video. Check that out on YouTube if you haven't seen it. Uh, we got a few more for you. Thank you so much. We're going to be right back here tomorrow, same bat channel. Everybody partying out there, you know. Take it easy. Drink some water. Hydrate. <laughs> be nice to friends. each other. Stay here, I'm just, I'm, just, that's, I'm just telling Kind Country to calm down. We'll see, we'll see Kind Country at the late night stage later. <laughs> and uh, Potluck String Band will be picking over there all night long. Oh, man, I wish. Man, I wish you all were here. Plenty of room on the hammock hill over here. All right, here's one from our last record called Bloom Again.
If I could walk 5,000 miles and find the spring again, the birds and the bees and the flowering trees and the chance for time to mend. No man of mine I'd head out tonight to chart a course for the sun.
Kevin Kniebel. Thank you so much. Kevin, good vibes only, Kniebel. Sending out his be kind vibes into the world. Be kind or be gone, right? Sending our love out to Minneapolis, St. Paul. Sending our love to all the communities around the, around the country and the world. I've been watching this poor June bug stuck on its back. I think it, I think it likes it there. It doesn't want to go anywhere. <laughs> Sit there on your back. Enjoy the show, June Bug. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to do one of my songs, but we're going to start it off with a little bit of old timey here. You know, we like old timey. Dirge that Nate, Nate taught us. It's one I learned from a great fiddler out of Ohio named Dan Gellert. Then we go into one of Jay's. Months. Would it be too much to ask for a month when we don't have to fight him? Just one month. Yeah, would it be too much? Or would it be too much? Would it be too much to ask for a month when we don't have to fight him? Just one month. If I give in and let you in, still where's it all? These things that we've been through So many years now to win Too damn proud and too damn loud To ever hear each other was That you're saying I, I, I can't I oh, would it be too much? Would it be too much? 
would it be too much to ask for a month Well, we don't end up at him Just one month Be. Will there ever be an entire week where well, we don't end up at him for just one week? Will there ever be, or will there ever be, or will there ever be an entire week where well, we don't end up at him for just one week? You know, folks, today, these games we play with all our stubborn ways, we we draw these lines that we hide behind But we'll never be fine until the waves crash this land And wash away the plan that's held us on our side So, so carefully designed Yeah, will there ever be, or will there ever be Will there ever be an entire week Where we don't end up fighting but Just one week Six string Thank guitar. You, Jay. Oh, thank you guys. We got to give anyone who's watching this probably knows already, but we're Pert near Sandstone. We're a band from the Twin Cities, Minneapolis it, and St. Paul. I think it says it on the screen, right? Is it Jones? saying that right now? Right down here. Right here. Well, for anyone who is not good at reading. Justice for George. Hit that like button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that like button. That's right. We're going to do a couple more for you. Then we're going to be partying with you all day tomorrow as well. And we'll also be partying all night tonight with you. Yeah. Anybody who has Jay's number, feel free to uh, send us one of those FaceTime calls tonight. We'll be up. That's uh, rolling across the, the screen right now too, right? Yeah, Jay's phone number can be found at the bottom of the screen. Is that call right? Us. Call us. We'll be around Is the campfire. Is that campfire. right, Zach? Thanks again for hanging around. If you've already fallen asleep on the couch, maybe this next tune will wake you up and remind you that you should sleep in your bed because you'll sleep better there. This is our first non pertinent sandstone song. It's really nice that we don't include this. 
Here's a, here's a song from one of our favorite bands. One, two, three, four. Oh, how you on up? Peace in the valley. Come downtown, you got to rumble in the alley. Oh, oh you don't know say if I'm it. Has anybody seen my lady? Just living alone, driving crazy. Oh, you don't know say if I'm it. I'm gonna go.
Thank you all, the band, the band. We're going to do one more new one for you tonight and then say goodnight for now and see you again tomorrow. Um, we have a bunch of new songs we're going to play for you as well tomorrow off the Rising Tide album. Please pick that up at your local music go-round. Yes, <laughs> it is already our highest grossing album of all time. <laughs> I think so. Make sure you check out the website too. Uh, donate if you can. Pre-order our album if you can. And tomorrow, just a reminder, we got... Yoga in the workshop in the morning or more afternoon, afternoon. Nicklin and Rose, Adam Gruel from Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, Del McCurry, Them Cooley Boys, a nice. Sam Bush interview with Sam Bush, then doing a li our live at home set. Or no, just a recorded at home set. Charlie Parr live from here. Warren Haynes from home. And Pert Near Sandstone live from the Pines. Yes, please donate. All the proceeds after repairing Cartier's clothing will go to <laughs> some, great, some great charities. That That's sweater, great. that sweater had to go quite a while ago. Trade card. I'll show you later. <laughs> uh, so, like I said, this is the this is the last song of the night. It's off our new record. It's called Peaches. Uh, it's a song that I wrote really for my children a long time ago, but now I think it's really appropriate to all of us trying to find this place where we can feel like nothing, nothing's gonna get us down. I think it feels like it's a long way away right now, but um, as a community, we can come together, and I know we will. Uh, we're so thankful to be here with all of you virtually and really looking forward to the next time we can be together live. Uh, this song is called Peaches and it goes something like this. There's a place in my memory to remind me how it used to be. For loose and fancy free man, nothing's gonna get me down. I'll be walking on the sunlight I'll be flying higher than a kite Catch a breeze and take it easy Nothing's gonna get me down When you find me I know right where I'll be Shaking peaches from that old peach tree Man, nothing's gonna get me down
night, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you, you tomorrow. So much. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, y'all. Take care of each other. Lift one another up. <laughs>